Welcome, welcome, welcome to another truck pay video tutorial. My name is Ben, and in this video, we're going to go over how to dispatch trucks and drivers to a job with truck pay. Let's get into it. Truck pay's dispatch panel is incredibly powerful and was built together with Lehigh Hansen, one of the biggest material suppliers in the world, to be extremely flexible with the ability to suit your everyday dispatch needs. TruckPay's dispatch panel allows you to dispatch your own company truck drivers, independent owner operators, and even owner operators that your subcontractors manage. Before dispatching one of your own trucks and drivers, you're going to have to make sure that you have added at least one vehicle to the platform and invited at least one employee with the truck driver position and company truck driver permission assigned to them. There are three different tabs in the dispatch panel, Map View, List View, and Notifications. Map View allows you to look at all of your trucks, plants, and job sites, and you can even filter them by site and material. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen, there is a gray area with an arrow. You can click on that to view a brief overview of jobs that are ready to have drivers dispatched to them. The List View is your main view where you will be doing your dispatching from. We'll get into that view in a second. And the Notifications tab allows you to select which drivers you'd like to notify of a new dispatch order, or you can choose to notify everyone at once. Having control over when your drivers get notified of a new dispatch order is very important, as you will not want drivers to get overwhelmed as you plan out their future schedules. We organize the jobs you are dispatching trucks on by job type. You'll notice that we are on the standard tab right now, but can filter down into RMHMA, ready mix jobs, four-way jobs, unknown pickup and drop off, demolition, and waste jobs. We can modify the date at which we would like to dispatch trucks and drivers for, and below you'll see a list of all of your jobs that you can dispatch trucks on. You can refresh this list at any time by clicking on the refresh button above. To begin dispatching, click on the job you want to dispatch trucks to, then scroll down a little bit. On the left-hand side, you'll see two tabs, Available Vehicles and Available Drivers. These are the trucks you may dispatch and the drivers that are available to be assigned to a truck. We'll dispatch a driver in just a second. But first, let's look at some of the other settings and features the dispatch module has to offer. We can filter our daily schedule to look at the schedule for one specific truck at a time. We can also choose how drivers should be notified of new dispatch orders. Enforce that a driver and a truck that are dispatched to this job can't be dispatched to any other job. And enforce that a driver can only check in during the dispatch start and end time. We can look at details about the job and any past deliveries as well. And of course, you can edit your calendar settings to cater to your needs. Let's schedule a few trucks and assign drivers to them. To do that, we're going to click on an available truck and drag it onto the schedule and drop it at the start time we want the driver to check in at. We can assign multiple trucks to the same time slot if we want or schedule them for various times throughout the day. We'll then click on each truck and assign an available driver to them. All that's left to do is notify the driver. So we'll click notify and then boom, we're done. The driver will receive a push notification, text message and email. And when they open the truck pay app, they'll be all ready to check in. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.